Hey guys, welcome back to another video this morning. Today I have a special request video for a, um, it's a stitch, but it is a bordering stitch. So as you see what I have in front of me, I have one of my little tag along mini granny square afghans for um, a baby or toddler that I'm going to work it on today. And I have done a little piece of it here, as you can see what we're going to be doing. And this was specially requested by a friend and follower of mine. And it comes from the book Around the Crochet Borders. It is a type of puff stitch. Of course, you can see where there's two puff stitches stacked on top of one another. And um, so I wanted to help uh, this um, wonderful lady to understand this pattern. So I told her I'd do a video on it. Okay. So basically you can get, I find that if you, and, and even with a smaller one in the uh, I, or the H hook, I would prefer to do this stitch in um, a four millimeter, but you use what you have. And I do have a four millimeter, but I really liked my hook this morning. So I thought I'd use it and I do make all these hooks. So as a lot of you do know, and a lot of you may not know, you can go to my Facebook uh, at Stitch and Stacy's Crochet, and I do make and sell um, my handcrafted crochet hooks and stitch markers. So there are ones like this and lots more, and they do sell well. Um, okay, so what I have done here, let's just say that you already have your afghan, your scarf, whatever it is that you're working on, which nine times out of ten you're going to. So you don't have to worry about the base part of this, um, uh, uh, the border, because it, it, it told you how to go about making the base part first, and we don't need to do that because we probably are going to already have our base made. So all you did, all I did right here is I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to show you what I did real quick. I wanted you to see what it looked like, okay? And now I'm going to pull this out to the beginning, and then we're going to work it together. But I did want you to see what it looked like from the beginning. All right, so all you're going to do is pick a corner. You're going to chain two. Once you pick a corner, you're going to attach that corner and chain two. Now, to do a puff stitch, and I do have a video tutorial on that as well, if you want to um, look that up, you're going to do a puff stitch, and you're going to do it in the same stitch where you connected. So you're going to yarn over, and you're going to go into that same space. Grab your yarn, pull up. Do that again. Grab your yarn and insert, pull up, do that again, yarn over, insert into that same space, pull up, and do that one more time. So yarn over and insert into that same space, grab your yarn and pull up. Basically you want a total of nine strands on your hook, okay? And when you have nine strands and it's usually doing a, um, it's usually doing the yarn over and inserting your hook a total of four times to get that. You want to remember to keep these nice and loose. You see how much space that I have in there? So I shouldn't have a problem pulling it through. So then you're going to yarn over and you're just going to pull straight through. Okay? Now, here's where it's a little different. You're going to chain three on top of this puff stitch, but this first stitch is going to be very important. You want to make sure that you don't have that stitch real tight like this, okay? You don't want it real tight. So loosen it up a little bit and chain two more. So you're going to chain three all together and then this is what you're going to have for your next step. Now what you're going to do is you're going to complete a puff stitch on top of this one. But in the instructions it tells you to um, work in the third chain from the hook. So you're working on this part. You're not working this way yet. So you're going to count back three. One, two, and three. So it's going to be the one that's connected to this puff stitch. So you're going to yarn over and in the process you did here for this puff stitch, you are now going to, if you turn your work sideways, you're going to see, you're going to see this right here. This right here, this stitch is your third. So you see you got one, two, and three. You're going to be working in that third one. So you yarn over, make sure you go through both of those hoops, and you're just going to pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, 
insert and here's where it's going to get a little difficult so you want to make sure it's a loose stitch down there and do it one more time make sure you do that a total four times okay pull through and pull up you should have this at this point on your hook yarn over pull through all okay now what you're going to do is you're going to skip that next stitch then you're going to go into the next but you're going to go directly into making another puff stitch so you, while you have your um, second uh, stackable puff stitch here you're going to yarn over and you're going to go directly into this next one this next stitch and you're going to do a puff stitch so you're going to yarn over pull through yarn over insert pull up yarn over insert pull up yarn over insert and pull up alright so you're kind of a little twisted but don't get worried you're going to pull through all of those and then you're going to straighten that up and then you're going to pull through there okay then from this point you're going to chain three again and then you're just going to repeat this procedure you did this one on top of your first one you're now if you want to turn it and look at it this way you're going to go from your third chain from your hook one two three and you're going to see it's always going to be the uh, stitches connected um, pretty much that is uh, tying off each bottom puff stitch okay so you'll yarn over and you'll go into there four times just like we've been doing so there's one make sure you get it in underneath two so there's two three it's a little tedious and four okay yarn over pull gently through you have your second one that's on top there now you'll skip your next stitch and you'll yarn over and you'll go directly into that next one and you'll start your next puff stitch so there's one two three and four yarn over pull through all that's on your hook every last one of them whoops including this one that one's very important so see how you get the stackable look there and um, that's really all there is to that you're just going to keep working that same procedure and when you get to the corner it's going to be no different you're just going to put it in whichever one you would be in at this point after you've skipped one and then you're just going to keep rounding it now if you want a wider corner or a more detailed corner you can do two of those in one stitch I haven't done it like that but I'm uh, I can almost see it in my head I'm pretty sure you could do it but that's up to you experiment with it but um, like I said the important part about this stitch is you want to keep this uh, stitch here the first one that you do right here you want to keep that one a little loose okay and then make sure that you chain three all together sorry about that guys I was out of camera so you'll, you'll count back one two three and this if you turn it sideways you can see this this one right here is the one you're going to be working into so you yarn over and go into that four times you'll do that four times all together one two three and four then you'll wrap and pull through okay then you'll skip the next one and you'll jump right over to that following one and you'll do that a total of four times in the next stitch making your next puff stitch okay once you have that yarn over make sure that you pull through and sometimes the hook gets caught and then you want to make sure and pull through that as well okay so that's it's a very unique stitch um, it's very textured it's lots of little puffs all the way through makes a beautiful border um, I don't think you I mean I, I'm not sure if you could go any higher than two I did not experiment with it um, I think eventually that if you went higher than two uh, puff stitches I think it's going to pull this one the second one way down further than what you really want it to be 
um, because you you notice it's standing up way up here and then whenever you go down to this follow and stitch here and insert your crochet hook to start this next puff stitch it's already pulling your second one down so if you were to build again you would have to pull it even more and I think it would become really cluttered um, so I don't think it would look as professional so that's really all there is to this stitch and I'll do this one complete this last one so chain three make sure this one's loose one two and three and what I do is use this finger as a guide it makes it a little easier so I push up on that stitch right there instead of just letting it dangle in the air most of the time so you yarn over find that stitch go in and pull through yarn over insert pull through yarn over insert pull through and one more time so that you get nine hoops there Okay, make sure that's loose, yarn over and pull through all of those. So you should have nine hoops on your hook. You'll skip and then you'll go directly into that next um, stitch and you'll complete the next uh, puff stitch. So basically there's um, no twist and turns to this. You're just going to go all the way through and it's the same technique okay and again it doesn't really have um, a specific name it is just a different variety of a puff stitch um, to me it reminds me of a double stacked puff stitch because it kind of makes sense but it's not my stitch to name and I don't name name stitches so um, so this is a, another version of a puff stitch so I will put the name of the book below that this stitch came from and I hoped that this helped my friend Rebecca with her um, her work so Rebecca if you have any questions or any of you have any questions following this video just leave it down below the box and or down below the down below the video in the box below my video hang with me guys still early in the morning uh, and I'll be glad to help you so um, that again is another version of a puff stitch and while you're online go to my um, uh, Facebook at Stitch and Stacy's Crochet. I'll leave that below and I also have an Etsy store where I do have some of these on there and some of my markers and my crochet uh, projects. So you can go on there and view as well. I will leave that link to my Etsy shop below and until the next video as always happy hooking you guys have a great day.